Welcome to the demo video of our Depth Dashboard Spreadsheet. Our Depth Dashboard Spreadsheet consists of five tabs. The first tab that you'll find in the spreadsheet is a README tab. On this README tab, you'll find some quick instructions as well as a link to our Google Sheets tips and tricks sections, our help desk, and a link to our instruction guide and video tutorial that you're currently on right now. The next tab that you'll find in the spreadsheet is the Start tab. In the Start tab, you'll enter all your information as when you enter your information here, it will update all the other tabs. The next step that you will find in the spreadsheet is the month tab. In the month tab, you'll find an overview of the debt, including your pay of progress, your debt balance, your debt distribution, and an overview to see exactly for each step how much you need to pay, how much there's paid, and how much there's still left to pay. The next step is the log tab. The log tab is where you will record all your transactions. If you update your transactions here or add your transactions here, it will automatically update in the month tab. The last step that is included is the payment schedule. The payment schedule is where all the calculations for your debt dashboard are done for you. So when you enter your information in the start tab, the spreadsheet will automatically calculate how much you need to pay for each debt each month and what the balance will be. Now that we've had a better look at the different tabs, let's enter information so we can have a better look to see how the debt dashboard actually works. To enter your information, head back to the start tab. We have broken out the setup of the spreadsheet in four easy steps. The first thing that you can do in the spreadsheet is change your currency. To change your currency, all you have to do is double click on this field, hit the backspace button on your keyboard and replace the current sign with the currency sign or abbreviation of your own. For example, when you change it to Euro, you will see that it will update everywhere else in the spreadsheet. The next thing you're going to want to do is set your start date. To set your start date, all you have to do is double click on this field and pick a month. Basically, whatever date you pick, the spreadsheet will start calculating as the first of that month. So it is currently March, and let's say we want to start planning our debt payoff as of April. All we do is just click on this little arrow, go through the different months, and then just select the 1st of April. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is enter in our debt information. You don't need to enter your debt information in any specific order. All you have to do is enter the debt name. We've already added some examples here. Then add the balance for each debt, add the minimum payments, so the minimum monthly payment that you need to pay towards each debt, and the interest rates. Now let's enter some fictional information so we can have a better look and see how this spreadsheet actually works. Now that we've entered our debt information in step three, let's head over to step four. In this section, you can add your monthly extra as well as pick your debt payoff method. So let's say, for example, you have $2,000 available each month that you can put towards your debt payoff progress, but your minimum payments total is $1,535. Then this extra $465 that you can pay towards your debts, you can enter here. Once you enter this information here, your calculations will update automatically for you and you can see how this influences your debt payoff progress. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is pick a debt payoff method. To switch between a debt payoff methods, all you have to do is click on this little drop down arrow and then pick one of the methods. When you switch between methods, you can see that your results below here will update automatically for you, but just know it takes a couple of seconds as a spreadsheet might have to calculate up to 50 debts up to 50 years, so sometimes it could take a while for these calculations to update. When you select your debt payoff method, you can automatically see in which order you'll pay off your debts, how many payments it will take for each debt to be paid off, when it will be paid off, and what you pay in total of interest towards each debt. On the top section here, you'll also be able to see that for this method, when you will be completely debt free, how many months it will take you to be debt free, what your total debt is, and what you pay total in interest. Now, in addition to the debt snowball method and the debt avalanche method, we've also included a custom order option. For the custom order option, you can scroll to the top here and then switch these numbers around and order them in a way that works for you. So let's say, for example, you have a total of 14 debts available. What you can do is just delete these numbers. So let's say, for example, you would like to get rid of that personal loan as quickly as possible. You can just add this as number one. Now, let's say the next you would like to pay off the credit card that second credit card and that third credit card and now you prefer to pay off that student loan so basically you just keep on going and just add these numbers here in whatever order it works for you and then once you've added these numbers you can scroll down here select the custom order option and you can see the spreadsheet has automatically arranged them in the order that you've selected now once you've selected a debt payoff method so let's say for example in the end you decided to go with the debt snowball method now you're completely done with the start tab and it's time to have a better look at our next step, our month tab. Our month tab was included so you can easily see for each step how much you need to pay, 
how much you've already paid for each debt and how much there's left to pay and what the balance will be at the end of the month. Now, to find this information for a certain month, all you have to do is select a year and select a month on the top section here. So let's say, for example, this is the first month, so it is April 2023. You just select April in 2023 and everything else will update automatically for you. So now that you've selected your month, now you can see exactly how much there's planned to pay towards each step for this month. This way you don't have to scroll through this giant overview to see exactly how much you need to pay. You can just see it in the simple to read overview here. So now the month has started and you want to make some payments. So to make some payments, all you have to do is lock your transactions in the lock tab. So basically what you can see here is that for credit card number 10, you will need to pay $10 towards this step this month. So what you do is just add the day that you made the payment, add the amount, so $10, and this was credit card number 10. Now we can see that our paid section has updated, so we pay $10. We can see that there's nothing left to pay and that there will be no balance at the end of this month. So this debt will actually be paid off after we've made that payment. We can also see that our monthly progress is now 100% for this debt. Now if there are debt payments that are a little bit larger, and for example you want to make multiple payments throughout this month, so let's say for example credit card number 3, you have some extra money available and at this moment you want to pay $50 towards that debt. So what we do is just add a transaction here again. $50 towards credit card number two. And now when we head back over to the month tab, we can see that we can now see that we have planned to pay $250. We've paid $50, so there's $200 left to pay. And at the end of the month, after we've made all of our payments, our balance will also be zero. So this also this debt will be paid off. And we can see that our monthly progress is 20%. Now, in addition to your monthly progress, you can also switch to your total progress here. When you switch to your total progress, you can actually see how your debt is progressing in total. So for example, for these first three debts, we can actually see that after we've made all our payments, that all of these debts will be paid off. So you actually don't have to worry about these first three debts anymore. But then you can see for each and every single debt, a little bit of how you're progressing in your payments for each and every debt. So for example, at the end of this month, we'll have actually paid 29.8% off our fourth debt as well. So basically all these features were included so you can easily see where you are in your debt payoff progress, not only for the debts in total, but also for every debt each. Now there are another couple features that we have included in this debt payoff dashboard. And one of the most important features that we have included to make this dashboard more flexible is that you can pay more towards any debt at any time. So let's say for example, credit card number six, you had planned to pay $125, but you decide to just pay off a little bit more this month. Now what you can do is just head over to your log tab and let's say for example it is the 5th of April currently and instead of $125 you decide to put $250 towards credit card number 6. Now when you head back over to that month tab you can now see that that $250 has updated here so you can see you've paid $250. There's nothing left to pay as you've actually paid more than you planned to pay and you can see that your balance at the end of the month has actually updated. You can also see that instead of the 29.8%, you will be now 61.1% through your debt payoff progress for this specific debt. So basically, this feature allows you to just pay more towards any debt at any time, and it doesn't matter which debt you pick. It could have been that student loan, that personal loan, whatever works for you. Now, if in advance you already know you're going to receive a bonus and you would like to plan for that in advance, and instead of picking the debts yourself, you would like them to just go towards the debts in order, what you can also do is add it in this section over here. So basically, this section over here allows you to increase or decrease your planned amounts by the type that you add in this column. So let's say, for example, in June you expect to receive a bonus and you would like to put some of this bonus towards paying off these debts. So now let's see what our current calculations are. So let's say in June we will pay $437 towards this debt, $400 towards that debt, and then $255 towards credit card number 5. Now let's say we increase this amount by $250. So instead of $2,000, you're now going to be paying $2,250 towards your debt in this month. Now when we type in this month, we can see that our calculations automatically update. And this payment has increased with $250 and that the balance and all the other payments now have automatically been recalculated. Now this also works the other way around. So let's say for example, if there's a month where you have less to spend, so you don't have any money of that monthly extra available to put towards this debt, you can just enter this as a negative amount here. So let's say for example in June you would now like to only make the minimum monthly payments instead of the minimum monthly payments plus the monthly extra. You just enter that minus $465 here and you can see now that also all the payments have updated automatically for you to adjust and you instead of paying $2,000 you just pay those $1,535. And that is basically how the spreadsheet works. 
If you have any other questions, I'll be sure to leave some contact information in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.